50 year old man is brought to the emergency department after developing blurred vision and confusion. Earlier today, he was clearing and burning foliage and weeds on his property. His medical condition has no history of illicit drug use. Temperature is 38, 19, 102 F, blood pressure is 110, 76 mm HA, pulse is 120 min, and respiration are 16 min. He is disoriented to time, place, and person. The examination shows flushed skin and dry oral mucosa. Both people dilated and non-reactive to light and palpation. Bowel sounds are decreased. The question is, which of the following drugs can potentially reverse this patient's condition? If you are one of the smartest people on earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. Your options are A, aspartame, B, benzotropine, C, diazepam, D, haloperidol, E, metoprolol, F, morphine, gene, naloxone, H, phytostimine, one thiamine. I'm guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is H, which is phytostimine. This patient with blurred vision, fever, altered mental status, flushed skin, and dry mucous membranes has anticholinergic toxicity, likely from encountering gypsum weed, the tool from ammonium, while living in his yard. Gypsum weed contains large concentrations of the anticholinergic compounds atropine, sulfonamine, and hyoscyamine. These agents competitively inhibit acetylcholine at a muscarinic acetylcholine receptor, leading to the classic toxic room summarized above. Anticholinergic toxicity can be counteracted by increasing the concentration of acetylcholine in the septic cleft. Phytostimine, a cholinesterase inhibitor, increases acetylcholine levels by preventing its degradation by cholinesterase. Do you even know your mistake now? If you are still confused, let me show you why the other choices are not correct. Close A. Organophosphates are cholinesterase inhibitors that are commonly used as pesticides. Atropine can be used to counteract the effects of excess muscarinic stimulation, e.g., increased salivation, meiosis, bronchospasm, bradycardia. However, patients remain at risk of paralysis due to nicotinic overactivation and so also require treatment with paradoxin. A cholinesterase, choice of B and D, benzotropine is a centrally acting anticholinergic medication used for the treatment of idiopathic and drug-induced Parkinson's disease. Haloperidol is a neuroleptic drug that blocks dopamine receptors in the central nervous system and is used to treat psychosis. These drugs have anticholinergic effects that worsen this patient's symptoms. Choice C diazepam, a long-acting benzodiazepine, positively modulates GABA action by increasing the frequency of chloride channel opening. It is used to treat seizures associated with atropine poisoning, but does not affect muscarinic cholinergic receptors. Choice E. Metoprolol is a selective B1 adrenergic receptor antagonist. It is used to treat angina, acute coronary syndromes, heart failure, hypertension, and arrhythmia. Choice F and G. Morphine is an opioid pain medication that exerts its effects by stimulating opioid receptors in the brain. Naloxone is a competitive antagonist of these receptors used for opioid overdose. Morphine has some anticholinergic effects and may worsen symptoms, whereas naloxone does not affect cholinergic receptors. Choice 1, thiamine, B1, is a cofactor for multiple enzymes used in glucose metabolism. Patients who are chronically deficient, e.g., due to alcoholism or malnutrition, can develop or need force cough syndrome, ataxia, optophagia, confusion. If you already knew the answer, or at least now.
A 50-year-old 50 50 man is brought to the emergency department after developing blurred vision and confusion. Earlier today, he was clearing and burning foliage and weeds on his property. His medical history is insignificant, and he does not take any medications. The patient has no history of illicit drug use. <laughs> Men. He is disoriented to time. Men. He is disoriented to time, place, and person. Physical examination shows flush skin and dry oral mucosa. Both pupils are dilated and non-reactive to light and accommodation. Bowel sounds are decreased. The question is, which... And respirations are 16 minutes. He is disoriented to time, place, and person. Physical examination shows flush skin and dry oral mucosa. Both people are dilated and non reactive to light and accommodation. Bowel sound decreases. The question is which of the following drugs can potentially reverse this patient's condition? If you are one of the smartest people on earth, type the correct choice in the comment box below. Your options are A. Atropine, B. Benzodiazepine, C. Diazepam, D. Haloperidol, E. Metoprolol. F. Morphine, G. Naloxone, H. Phytostigmine, one thiamine. I'm guessing you did not get the answer right. The correct choice is H, which is phytostigmine. This patient with blurred vision, fever, ultramental status, flush skin, and dry mucous membranes has anticholinergic toxicity. Likely from encountering Jimson weed, the tourist ceremony. Ceremony, while working in his yard. Jimson weed contains large concentrations of the anticholinergic compounds, atropine, sopalamine, and 
These competitively inhibited acetylcholine and muscle acetylcholine receptors leading to the classic testosterone synonymous above. Anticholinergic toxins can be counteracted by increasing concentration of acetylcholine in the septic gut. Fly to sitting, a cholinesterase inhibitor increases acetylcholine levels by preventing its degradation by cholinesterase. If you didn't know you were sick now, if you are still confused, let me show you why your choices are not correct. Choice A, for a prostate cholinesterase inhibitor, you're commonly used as exercise. alcoholism or malnutrition, can develop Wernicke Korsakoff syndrome, ataxia, ophthalmoplegia, confusion. If you already knew the answer, or at least now know the correct one, click the like button.